All right. Very few movies out there, and the balls makes wheelchairs and whore. Usually making one of them the survivors, but there's a few of them out there that treat those vulnerable fucks like any other victim. Hell, my uncle was sitting comfortably in a wheelchair for years, and he is cool as shit. This is my list of the top three best dudes in wheelchairs. Yeah! Number three. Franklin from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Frank fucking Franklin. Man, you lived a miserable life, but being disabled wasn't half your fucking problem. Plain and simple, you're a whiny bitch. Oh, man, it's hot, mate. This heat is just driving me crazy. I don't Listen, know if I can take much more. You're driving through Texas. Of course you're going to be hot. Everybody's fucking hot. You have this weird obsession over your fucking pocket knife. Franklin Maniac, tearing up the fan. Oh, um, yeah, I, I just started doing that. Let me see your knife. Thank you. What are you doing? I can't find my knife. When did you have it last? Well, I didn't have it last. You had it last. I gave it to you, remember? What'd you do with it? Well, I don't know. Didn't I give it back to you? No, I didn't have it when I got out of the van. You just never gave it back to me. All right, I'll look for it. I can't find it. You're jealous of the enabled. <laughs> You acknowledge that you're being an obnoxious fuck. You really didn't want me to come, did you? Oh, Franklin, I'm just tired. And even after your sister tells you she can't push you through the fucking woods, you put her in a situation in which she's forced to. I'll tell you what, man. If it wasn't for the fact that you were killed by the weapon in the fucking title of the movie, you'd be in the list of the most worthless fucking characters. At least the text Chainsaw Massacre game on the Atari 2600 got it right. Frankie must have died first because the wheelchair is empty, while Pam and Sally are still running from Leatherface. Number 2 Will from A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 There isn't too much to say about you, dude. The story for why you're in a wheelchair was told by other patients at the institution in a form of mockery. I had a little accident, as you can see. Ended up in this chair. Accident my ass. I thought you said this was supposed to be straight talking here. Hey, so he took a jump. At least he wasn't sticking needles in his arm with a bunch of low lives. Save it, Kincaid. In your free time, you play Wizard Master, which I assume is a D&D inspired game. In this movie, everybody gets a dream power. Your dream power fits your weak personality. In my dreams, I can walk. My legs are strong. In my dreams, I am the Wizard Master. When it's your turn, Freddy Krueger uses Nightmare Chair to make you lame again. When you finally accept the fact that you're a dream warrior, you turn into this 80s version of Harry Hogwarts and zap the shit out of Freddy with your finger bolts. Freddy lifts you, probably higher than you ever dreamt of being. It rips out your heart. And that's it. No one talks about you or wonders where you are. Literally, the next scene, they talk about where another character is. So where's Joey? Even though your character has no depth, you're still better than this guy. Number one, Mark from the Friday the 13th part two. Right from the beginning, a girl named Vicky already has her eyes set on him. Oh, uh, no, it's okay, I got him. Thanks, Cindy. Damn! Tell you what, this guy loves arm wrestling other counselors. Even though he's in a wheelchair, he has no problem talking shit to the slower counselor. When everyone heads out to the bar for the evening, Mark and Vicky decide to stay behind. Nothing spoils a party faster than a drunk in a wheelchair. That's crap. Look, we can go together if you want. I appreciate that. But I'm in uh, training. Then I'm staying too. Suit yourself. 
Nikki can give Mark clue after clue that she wants some of that four-wheel action. I only want your fingers. What? Football and hockey. Which one do you prefer? The one with the puck. You mean hockey? Is that what you call it? What do you want to play for? Position. Then Vicky asks what happened to him, too. You know, make sure his dick still works. Mark, what happened? Did you have to be in a chair? Motorcycle accident. Paralyzed my legs. Is it permanent? Doctor thinks so. I don't. I don't intend to be in this thing the rest of my life. Just your legs, huh? Is everything else okay? Oh, I do all right. One way or another. Ah, Vicky's one of them hip gals. I'm in training, remember? For what? Lucky Mark makes plans for the night. Want to stay together tonight? I was just about to ask you. My cabin and yours. Then Vicky leaves to go get ready. Mark thinks he hears Vicky, so he wheels himself outside. Vicky? While on the porch, Mark gives him a shake to the fucking face. A kill so graphic, it was cut from the movie. The best part is when Vicky comes back from her cabin. She looks downstairs first, and then she's so fucking horny, she looks upstairs for Mark. Does she think that he crawled upstairs and into bed? I don't fucking know. And for an added bonus, Mark was an awesome character. He proved that it's not all about the chair, it's about the guy in the chair. And the creators of the Friday the 13th game on the NES thought so too. They made Mark the best runner, jumper, and rower in the fucking game. Or maybe they were just making fun of him. Thanks for watching my video on the top three deaths of wheelchair fox. If you're dying to see more, why not subscribe? Hell, oh, fuck it, hit that like button. If I'm missing something, have a suggestion, or hate my fucking hair, bury your screens in the box below. I listen to them all. If you want to see more of Franklin and his fucking friends, watch my last review on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a great mullet, and I'll see you next time. Maybe.